Okay, so we're doing uh, Piano Adventures, Accelerated Piano Adventures, book two. Um, go to your lesson book and open up to page four and five, okay? So on page four is just a review of everything that we've done last year as far as, or last book as far as symbols. So try to fill this out. You can actually use your book, your, your book one to fill this out. It's just a review of everything. Then on page five, it's a review of where we ended. Okay. Now remember we talked about pentascales, which are five note scales. Okay. So if I start here on C, it's just five notes. A penta means five. So just five notes. Okay. So when they're saying a C pentascale, we start on C. When it says G pentascale, we start on G. So it's just five notes, okay? So there is, um, on page five, you just need to tell me, write in what those notes are, okay? Write in what those notes are, okay? Over here, you we remember in the previous book, we had low G, oh, let me turn it off. We had low G. So go back to your book one at the end where they were talking about the three Gs, okay? So it's just a, G pentascale over here is a C pentascale, so write in the notes. So over here, you got to tell me what pentascale is this. In essence, what is my starting note and play the scale. So what scale is it? Okay, right. So it's going to be one of the three G's, or it's going to be a C. Okay, so go back to your previous book at the end where we talked about how to locate those G's. Okay, and then at the bottom on number uh, where it says number four intervals, remember we talked about uh, seconds, third, fourth, okay, fifth. We talked about those. So seconds are the distance. And then when we looked at it in music, where we had, if I have a note here and I want to go to a second, I go to the next line, I mean, next space, third fourth, fifth, okay? So knowing the distance. So the easy ones is when, seconds are easy because they're right next to each other. Those are seconds, okay? Um, thirds are easy too because you just skip, it's closer, okay? So the further that you go up, right? I'm gonna count, go to the next space, second, third, fourth. That's a fourth. There's a note here. Let me see if it's there. And then let's go up here. Let's count the next space. Second, third, fourth, fifth. So that's a fifth. Okay. So at the bottom of the page, you're just going to see um, a page five. What are they? Tell me what the name of the interval is. Second, third, fourth, or fifth. Okay. So let's go to page six and seven. Stars and Stripes is just a review song. It's a review song. Now, what I do want you to review on the left hand is give me a C chord. Because remember here, we have a C chord. That's the last measure. A C chord right there. Okay. So on your hand, on your book, on your keyboard, give me a C chord. And let me fix that and make sure that's just a regular piano. Okay, and then remember what a 5-7 was, 5-7 chord, we squish these two seconds and bring down my pinky a half a step, there's your 5-7, okay, so we got a 1 chord, 5-7, which is B, F, G, 1 chord, C, E, G, 5-7, B, now, if you look at the beginning of the song, um, we have right hand on G, and then left hand on G. So we have we're in we're in C. So G, right hand fifth finger on G, and then it said left hand it want number one on G. So if you notice, I'm trying to squish in there, we're both starting on C. Keep your hands there look at the first measure both hands are going the same direction the right hand's going down the left hand's going down so the right hand starts on g the left hand starts on g so we have g so let's do the right hand first stop at d and then it repeats 
left hand starts on G. Then it repeats. And then let's do it with both hands. Okay, and you may need to rewind it to um, get back to, to see that again, okay? To review that. So uh, from the, the first page is... first page now when we get to the second page that's when we add our chord okay that's when we have our C chord C chord we hold that down okay C G F sharp C G F sharp this is measure seven so we have C G F sharp there's my F sharp so F sharp it remember F is in front of three black keys okay um, and then over here, look, let's keep going. Measure nine, D sharp, E, D sharp. So that's E, and then here's D sharp, E, D sharp, so D, D sharp. Um, let's go to measure 12 over here. We have D, D. So we need to move our number three finger to D. Okay, so at first your D was here, but now move your number three to D, okay? Uh, um, let me make sure that, uh, let me make sure your fingers are, let me go to measure. Okay, so yeah, when you measure 12, D, number three, D, okay, keep it there. You don't change it until you get to measure 17. I mean, measure 16 right here. Three goes back to E. Okay, so over here, three is on D. Move it back to E over here. Okay, just remember your sharps. Remember all your sharp. Remember sharp goes up. Sharp goes up. So what is this one? sound like what is this let me move everything around i'm gonna do i'm gonna go really slow so you can kind of hear a little bit of what it sounds like okay and i got my tripod in between me <laughs> okay here we go last measure last two measures okay last two measures where you're keep hitting that where you're here um, okay so last two measures G and C G C okay over here five seven one chord five seven chord one chord okay so let me play that last chord on that one where is um, So over here, uh, let me go to that last line, just less. That's all I did. All right. So I think you're ready to play that one. So practice page six and seven out of your lesson book one. All right. Happy practicing.